Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Cosmos Cosmic Adventure. Uh, we have made it to this wonderful cave. Now, what have we got waiting us here? Let's see what the hint globe tells us. The clam plants won't hurt you if their mouths are closed. Okay, so we can walk right past them if they're like that. Can we blow them up? Yes, but we don't get anything for it. We don't get a bonus bomb or anything like that. Whoa, so there's all kinds of traps in this level by the looks of it as well. I plant stuck to the ceiling, we can't really get those. Whoa, what's this? Some sort of enemy. Take it out. Right. So there's lots of um, crystal y things to pick up in this level. Lots of points to gather. What does this do? Oh, it's a tube that we can go through. Where's it taking me? Whoa, don't leave me right in front of this guy. Come on. That was mean. So I think we've been up this bit. What's in this barrel then? Health. Goody. So the eye plants in this level seem to always stuck to the ceiling, which is going to make them tricky to actually blow up. But we can live without that, I suppose. Explore these places here, see what awaits us. Whoa! Whoa! That's right. I think you need to use bombs to blow these up. I'm gonna get rid of this thing first of all. Not too close. These take three bombs to blow up. Or. Maybe not. If you put the bombs too close together, they might not do it properly. You found a secret area. Good job. So there's an eye plant and some sort of... It looks like this come from Earth. It says USA on it. Even though it's distinctly alien in appearance. Ah, that flashed. Does that mean we can actually blow this up? Hey, it's a hamburger. Check it out! Look what that gave us! Down at the health bar there, you can see we've got an extra health bar now. Um, so, yeah, the hamburgers give you additional full health capacity... thing. Okay, so... That's that. We can now sort of move on. Whoa! Those guys, we haven't seen them do it yet, but they can they can actually jump up onto the ceiling um, and cling, uh, kind of cling to the ceiling and walk around up above you and cause problems like that. We're, we're actually kind of close to being dead at the moment, but here's a whole bunch of health, so we can grab that. That's good. That's what I like to see. Now these guys, again, not for the first time we're seeing a similarity to Super Mario here. You can blow them up if you time that properly, but I didn't, so I'm just going to leave them. Oh, three in one. Okay, yeah, there, there's one of those guys on the ceiling there. You can see they, they do that, and then they'll drop down and harass you. Okay, now what's up here? I wonder. More points and things to start. This guy's dangling around. We haven't been to any of this part, so let's do this. Let's grab the stuff. Whoop. This guy. Alright, 
I don't think there's anything along there, but we can get down here. Um, hopefully not die as well. Okay, can we go back down this way? Yeah, we can. Right. What's doing here? Right, this is the other side of this bit, so can we reach that? Yeah, we can. Right, those plants shoot at you, um, so best avoid it. Oh, these guys are still parachuting in. Mr. Blue thing. Where does this go? Anywhere good? No, we've been here. Let's go back down. Whoa! Where are you going? Come back. Come on. Down here. There we go. Okay, so we want to ignore that. I wonder what the what that red box is. Ew! Apparently there's a slug in it. Why are they keeping a slug in a box? to blow up. You can quite easily avoid these things though, just wait for them to go back up. Ah, screwed that up. Come on, there we go. You need to make sure you get out of the way of your own bomb as well, like it's sort of the tricky part. Yeah, there we go. So it's all about the timing. There we go. Getting the hang of it. Oops. Screwed that up royally. Right, I have a feeling we probably don't want to go through that because I think that's just going to dump us back up the top and make us go through all that again. Again, we're doing good, we're doing good. It's good having that extra health bar just as a little bit of a fallback as well. Ah, stupid thing. Ah, I screwed that up. Oops. Right, there's some stars up here. If we can get to them, which we're gonna have trouble doing. Right, we're let's let's just not. That's suicide. Seems to be getting kind of icy down here. Wanna make sure we don't get hit by one of these, because we're right down to our last health. I was trying to jump up past that um wall plant thing, but if there was a little bump coming out of the wall that was stopping me from jumping up beyond it, so I was just going to end up dying. But yeah, we have finished that part of the cave. We seem to be getting further down into a sort of icy area here, so the ice in this cave is very, very slippery. Okay, two bombs for the price of one. Not going to complain too much about that. So, the music in this um, this level, um, it's a very kind of typical Bobby Prince track, I think. It, it sounds a little bit like it could fit right into like um, Wolfenstein or something. Um, it's got almost familiarity to it, this song, that makes me wonder if it was used in any other games, but I'm not totally sure, I don't know if it's just Bobby Prince's kind of style. 
I think this is one of his original compositions rather than um, being particularly stolen <laughs> like some of his stuff, but hey. Okay, I've got to watch out for the plants and things shooting us here. We want to gather this health back up as well. Now, this level, if I recall correctly, this is where things start to get a little bit more tricky. Whoa, that was close. So there's a few things about this level that are going to be tricky. You can't grab on to the side of bits where there's ice. You just slide down. But you can, if you're quick enough, you can jump off and build your way up. Whoops. There's lots of these blue guys around in this level and they will be a pain, no doubt. There's always a few that catch me out here, I think. So... Whoop. Whoa! Well, there's a bunch of stars just dropped down there. And uh, we're gonna go grab this and then pop back up. Now we really need to avoid taking too much more damage here. We're already kind of down to just the one bar of health left. Ah. Right, they're going to go down there. So we are going to go... Well... Do we want to go down here maybe? Well, there's a health. You found a secret area. Right, I think, I think, you think, think this takes us back down here. Yeah, I don't know where this is. That's fine. We can just go back up from here. Of course, we'll have to watch out for those blue dudes. Uh, yeah, I think they're gone anyway, so that's fine. Uh, okay. That's going to be... Whoa! <sighs> Crap. Almost fell right down the hole. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stars up there, but you can only get a couple of them from above by the looks of it. So we'll probably need to go to the, the next level up. Oh! Right, let me wait for this guy to shoot and then we will know where our timing is. Okay, so, working our way up here again. Refilled our health a little bit as well, that's nice. There we go. Getting back up towards the full health. Whoops! Yeah, those, um, these hills are slidey in this level as well, you just slide right back down them. So you've got to be careful, things like that. Ah, crap. Any chance I can, like, blow this thing up? Ha! Yes! Okay, here's a bunch of stars. Five! Any chance I can get back up here without having to drop it down? I think we will be able to do that as well, yes. Excellent! Excellente! Okay. So these bits, you've got to kind of jump along here. You're not going to make the jump if you jump straight from the top of the platform because you can't jump. It's The ceiling's too close. You have to fall down to the side 
and then bounce across from there. Now, I want to get as many of these stars as possible. So, grab those and then we need to work our way up here, I believe. So there's spike traps, there's a, a... Yeah, we don't want to get caught in that, I don't think. Let's blow it up. That looks like a teleporter up there. It looks a bit like one of the teleporters out of Duke Nukem, actually. <laughs> so I think that's probably what we're aiming for here. Yeah. I've memorised that one. I caught by that almost every time, so I've kind of got it ingrained in my memory that there's one of those right at the bottom of the hill. Whoops, forgot about that guy though. Never mind. Right. So these things jump up and then doop doop doop. They don't stay up for all that long, so wait for the next one to come up and then we'll just do this. Oops. That was foolish, but never mind. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys right there. Press your up key to use the transporter. Let's do it. Wow! Section completed. Where's this gonna take us? Who knows, but we've got stars to count. Groovy, insane, gnarly, outrageous, awesome, brilliant. Brilliant bonus this time. So, it takes us once again to this bouncy castle bonus stage. Where we will... We don't really have anything to replenish, actually, so it's basically just collecting points here. We've got full stock of bombs, we've got full health, everything's good. Whoops. Yeah, fell too early. Never mind. Let's just go. So, where to next? Entering level 7. We're in some sort of techno factory with techno music. <laughs> so, yeah, this place looks fun. Lots of flames and spikes everywhere. We will continue here from the next episode, however. For the meantime, I will call this the end of the video. Moving on to a new section, as always. So, in the meantime, you know, I hope you have enjoyed watching this up until now. I hope you um, aren't getting too bored of me collecting all the treasure and stuff. But uh, in the meantime, you know, it's, if, you, if you have enjoyed this, feel free to give us a like, leave us some feedback in the comments, and if you do want to see more of this kind of thing, please subscribe. Uh, we do put up new videos fairly regularly. Um, so, yeah, subscribe and you'll see more of that. Um, in the meantime, though, I hope you guys are all well. Uh, take care, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!